November is going to be an exceptionally excruciating month for Xi Jinping as three high-stakes multilateral virtual summits will take place this month. Xi Jinping would have to face Prime Minister Narendra Modi and President Vladimir Putin thrice, while he would also have to face the Americans during the G20 summit at the month end. Most of the world is angry and bitter because of the COVID-19 pandemic, courtesy China. It has led to a global economy economic downturn affecting millions of people, a major health crisis, and has suddenly halted global development projects and extended the time needed to meet sustainable development goals. Most of the anger is directed towards the Communist Party of China and its leader Xi Jinping. So, these global summits will turn out to be really difficult for Beijing to handle. The three summits are the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Heads of State Summit or the SCO Summit on November 10, followed by the BRICS Summit on November 17, and at last the G20 Summit on November 21 and 22. While Xi Jinping will be cornered right from the beginning as he would have to face both Russian President Putin and Indian Prime Minister Modi thrice, he would also have to face the major world powers in the G20 Summit. Russia will be the chair of the BRICS and the SCO summits and the G20 summit will be hosted and chaired by Saudi Arabia. This time, Xi Jinping will have to confront the world leaders directly and he will not be able to hide behind the foreign ministry spokespersons and the foreign minister himself, Wang Yi, who has till now been the shame bearer for Xi Jinping and the punching bag of the world in his stead. Russian President Vladimir Putin has recently stated that Russia would not form any military alliance with China at the cost of India's friendship. Moscow has also been frustrated as China has started claiming Russian territories in the Far East like Vladivostok as its own. Not only that, Beijing has been spying on Russian defense technologies and intentionally influencing the WHO so that Russia's vaccine program fails. Given all this baggage, Moscow is sure to corner Beijing in these upcoming summits. Ever since the last time Xi Jinping met PM Modi, a lot has happened and the relationship between India and China has deteriorated to a great extent. China has been belligerent on all its borders. India and China have been locking horns in the Himalayas for a large part of this year and after multiple rounds of talks, no solution seems to be in sight. Chinese aggressive antics, which led to the medieval brawl in Galwan Valley on the 15th of June, was the tipping point for India. Since then, India has not once shied away from taking anti-China actions overtly, be it the app ban, the removal of Chinese companies from the Indian government's infrastructural projects or the limiting of Chinese FDI, among others. India has since built a concert of democracies and like-minded countries to join hands against Chinese belligerents. India has also been successful in strengthening its relations with the Quad against China. Thus, when President Putin and PM Modi will meet Chinese President Xi Jinping, he will have nowhere to hide. The belligerents that China has shown to India will come back to bite it in these meetings as New Delhi will be backed by Moscow. Beijing has been bullying the whole world which is dealing with the virus exported from China itself. This has shown that China is a bully and it cannot be trusted as a great power that can lead the world. In such a situation as China will face the G20 countries, the picture is not going to be pretty. And as if facing PM Modi and President Putin twice was not enough, at the G20 summit, Xi Jinping will have to face them again. And not only them, Xi Jinping will have to face the Americans and the member countries of the European Union, who have now come out openly against Chinese human rights violations. The USA has been attacking the Chinese Communist Party for multiple reasons, be it the pandemic or technology theft, the trade war, espionage from within US territories, and challenges the US dominance among others. Xi Jinping will have to face the heat of a reinvigorated Quad too, because Japan and Australia also have no love lost for China. India, Japan, Australia and the USA will surely lay bare all that China has been doing these past months without mincing words. All these countries will surely be in no mood to listen to Xi Jinping's flowery words and ambiguous statements. And in the face of the flood of questions and criticisms, Xi Jinping would have to answer them upfront.